Hi, big dog. Is it on? Hi, big dog. Is it on? Yep, it's on. Let's go. This one's too sick of being gone. Yeah, eat it. Is it good for you? Yeah. Do you know what it is? What does it do to you? It's lemon balm. Oh. What does it do to you? It just tastes it. Chew it like gum. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> eh, it's a little bitter right now. Hi guys, we're doing this thing today. Here. This herb isn't just great for cooking with, but it's great for colds and for sinus infections. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of it here today, and we're gonna get that dried and ready to use. So today I am harvesting oregano. I have this little plant here, and many of you probably know that oregano is a mint, and so it is rather prolific. Thankfully though, it doesn't take over like a peppermint. Oregano? Yep, that's oregano. Really? Yep, so we're going to harvest yeah. the oregano today and dry it. You'll notice I'm cutting this up a little higher. These stems are probably 18 inches long or so. And you wanna catch them before they bloom so that they keep all their medicinal properties inside of the leaves. And I'm cutting these not down at the ground. I'll show you here. So you wanna find a stem. We've got this big long one here. There's the tip of it. And you want to go down, leaving, oh, there's maybe four inches there. The real deal is that you want to make sure you leave some of the leaves down here. I just knocked that one off. But down here so that they still have a way to take in sunlight because that is their food. So we're going to cut this here. The important part is how much that you're leaving down so that the plant can come back rather than how much you're actually getting off of the plant and you want to harvest this again before it flowers and it'll come back again here in Oregon and in our greenhouse I'll get another um, two or three cuttings off of this one little plant. There's a slug. See the slug on it? Yep, they see it. Get rid of him. I don't want to take him in the house. So I have this little bunch right here that I could cut, but let me see if I can get it on the camera. See, it's coming off of this main plant up here. But if you look underneath, let's see where is it? Right here. Right here, if I can get it to zoom in a little bit, it's rooted into the ground. See the little roots? And so I'm going to leave this here. Because it's rooted here and it's connected to the main plant up there, once it roots a little bit more, I can clip it here and then I have another oregano plant. So I'm going to leave this little bit here and let it root. Alrighty, I've trimmed down that oregano plant that was there. You can see it's much shorter than it was before. And now it is time to head inside. And this is pretty dirty, so we're gonna go give it a wash before we get it in the dehydrator.
you can see this oregano is really dirty. It was kind of back in the back part of the garden box. And there was a lot of bags and a lot of gross stuff on it. So while I don't normally rinse our herbs because it's not necessary, this is pretty gross. So we're going to give it a rinse before we put it in the dehydrator. Now that we have those rinsed off, they're ready to go on the dehydrator tray. Now we don't really want to put the stems in here because they are going to take way too long to dehydrate. And so we're going to strip the leaves off of the stems. And you do that by pinching your fingers on the stem and then sliding your fingers down the stem tightly and the leaves will just pop off. That's the handy thing about mints and oregano is a mint. They're pretty easy to separate and get in the dehydrator. Now at the tippy tops of those things, they're a little bit thinner on the stem and the top might pop off. That's okay. If it's that thin, it's going to dehydrate about the same as the leaves. So now that we've got those stripped off the stem, we're going to spread them on the dehydrator tray. We want to make sure there's enough space between the leaves so that the air can flow through it and make sure to dehydrate the leaves evenly. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not going to get out a ruler and measure it. We don't have time for that and it's not going to be quite that important. Just make sure you've got plenty of space. If it looks like your oregano is not drying in the time that it should, then maybe check your space and make sure it's not too tight together. Alrighty, we got our trays filled up. I had enough for the Excalibur and some for the big dehydrator. We're going to put them in here at 125 degrees as recommended on top of the dehydrator and there's no timer. So we will check these probably in the morning and see how they are doing. Now the rest of them I'm going to stick in our large 24 tray Cabela's dehydrator and set that at a little bit lower. We're going to put it at 110 degrees and I'm going to set the timer. This one does have a timer for 18 hours because I don't want it beeping in the middle of the night. So I'm gonna set it for a little lower temperature, but for a longer time. The way to know that your oregano is done is it will be crispy and it will be crunchy and kind of crumble apart. And that is how you know it is completely dried. So that is how you harvest and dehydrate oregano. If you would like to learn more about its medicinal properties, make sure you check out this video here. And also don't forget to join our free workshop. This is a six video workshop on how to blend your own medicinal tea from dehydrating to blending to steeping it properly. So make sure you check out that link in the description below and I hope to see you in the workshop. We'll catch you next time. Bye.